Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Arden Shah from class EED Jersey. Today, I make this video to fulfill my segment with MEM Minor Future MPD and this video about subject Intermediate English Grammar and I will explain about Future Perfect and Future Perfect Progressive Tense. And okay, the first I will explain about Future Perfect and the use of Future Perfect, the characteristic of Future Perfect, time signal, and a little bit of example. Okay, the use of future perfect. We use the future perfect to say how long for an action that starts before and continues up to another action or time in the future. Usually, we need four. And the second, we use the future perfect with a future time word and often with by to talk about an action that will finish before a certain time in the future but we don't know exactly when and the characteristic of future perfect or the pattern for positive subject plus will or shall plus have plus bub tree plus object for negative subject plus will or shall plus not plus have plus bub tree plus object and for interrogative will or shall plus subject plus have plus bub tree plus object i will give one example of future perfect if you are looking at the pattern of the characteristic subject plus will or shall plus have plus bub tree plus object and um, my example is he will have eaten by eight o'clock tonight he as a subject will and plus have plus bub tree eat bub tree eaten so the sentence is he will have eaten by 8 o'clock tonight. By 8 o'clock tonight as time signal in this future perfect. And the other example is He will have sold his house by the end of this year. For a positive sentence. For a negative sentence, he will not have sold his house by the end of this year. And for the interrogative sentence, will he have sold his house by the end of this year? And what about the question word? And the example of the question word, like who? Who will have sold his house by the end of this year? And the answer is, he will have sold his house by the end of this year. And then what? What will he have done by the end of this year? And the answer is, he will have sold his house. And then, when? When will he have sold his house? And the answer is, by the end of this year. So, maybe it's my explanation about future perfect tense map. And then we're going to future perfect progressive tense and I will explain about use characteristic or pattern time signal and a little bit of example and now I will explain about the use of future perfect progressive tense the first the future perfect progressive tense is used for an ongoing action that will be complete at some specified time in the future and the second the future perfect progressive tense is typically used with two time expressions, one specifying a time in the future and one stating the length of the activity. And the characteristic of future perfect progressive tense for positive subject plus will or shall plus have plus been plus verb in plus object and for a negative subject plus will or shall, plus not, plus have, plus been, plus bub in. And for the interrogative, will or shall, plus subject, plus have, plus been, plus bub in, plus object or complement. And time signal about this future perfect progressive, by, for, next, the example of future perfect progressive tense, positive, dd, 
will have been singing a down the song for an hour by 8 o'clock tonight. And negative, Didi will not have been singing a down the song for an hour by 8 o'clock tonight. And interrogative, will Didi have been singing a down the song for an hour by 8 o'clock tonight? And for word question, who? Who will have been singing a down the song for an hour by 8 o'clock tonight? The answer is, Didi will have been singing a down the song for an hour by 8 o'clock tonight. And what? What will Didi have been doing for an hour by 8 o'clock tonight? Didi will have been singing a dang dude song for an hour by 8 o'clock tonight. So, the difference from future perfect and future perfect progressive dance is if we are looking at the pattern, the future perfect is used subject plus will plus have plus verb three and Perfect progressive tense, subject, plus will, plus have, plus being, plus verb in. So it's the difference from future perfect and future perfect progressive tense. I think that's all ma'am. I'm sorry if I had a mistake about my explanation. I take full of responsibility of my mistake. And thank you for all of you guys to watching this video. Thank you ma'am, I'm Ardian Shah, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.